thanks for joining me tonight. <laughs> All right, so um, I will post the link in a second. Hi, Eric, how are you doing from Vienna? Thanks for joining. Hi, Robomar, thanks for joining from Poland. Dragon from uh, Denver, Colorado. Hi, nice to see you. Wazard from Mexico City. Oh, cool, I have friends there. Um, Hyung Lee, is that how you pronounce that? From Czech Republic, how are you doing? Thanks for joining. Jens from Germany, hi. Um, Der, Der, no, I don't know, I'm so bad at reading names. Daryl Les from British Columbia, Canada. Hi, how are you doing? Thanks for joining. Hi, Kathy. Thanks for joining. Nice to see you. Okay, wow, I'm, I'm shiny again. Let me maybe, <laughs> shining like a fresh oil bowling boil. Ah, oh, my God. Okay. All right, so how was your week? I hope you had a good time and enjoyed some of the videos I made. We're a lot of uh, stable diffusion lately because they have this kind of open structure, open source, so they can do all these kind of plugins and, and other things, so that's pretty nice. Um, so there's so much news in there, but I also want to do more um, uh, uh, mid-journey um, uh, videos. By the way, today you can submit also uh, stable diffusion works. Uh, I made the form look a little bit different. Actually, let me post that into the chat real quick. So, um, wait, I need to write a different text here. Submit your work. Okay, this is the link. Let me check this out real quick. Boom, there you go. I will pin this to the top so you can find it all the time. And then um, let me open this up myself real quick. Doesn't work, okay, that's great. Mm-hmm, one second. Just so you can see this. Boom, there we go. Uh, let me switch over to this one here. Yes, now you can see my screen. Yeah, okay, that works, perfect. So this time I made the form a little bit different so I can put your name here. Then you can put a link to the work. Um, and then if the link you provide doesn't have the uh, prompt with it, with stable diffusion, you often don't have that. You can put the prompt down here so we can check that out. And also I made a little like, you can choose down here what you used for that. Oh, I wrote mid-journey in two words. Never mind. I think that's okay. Uh, so I get a little bit of feedback where that stuff is coming from if it's not coming from mid-journey. So we can also have kind of an understanding what is going on. All right. Pretty cool. Uh, also, by the way, um, how do I put this right now? Because otherwise, uh, I don't know. Uh, I also, maybe I show you on the screen one second. <laughs> Uh, let me see. I have the links up here. My little plugin that is so useful. So I have um uh, I have a Facebook group. I need to oh manage sixteen. No, it seems okay. I don't see any kind of oh schedule post. Okay, that's okay. So I have a stable diffusion. Um, uh, sorry, I have a mid journey group. What the hell is going on right now? Ah, uh, I'm kind of chumped out of it. Um, one second, let me fix this real quick, sorry. <laughs> Being the mess I am as always, there we go. Okay, we're back. Um, so, oh, okay, wow, it has already 541 members. That's amazing. Wow, there's a private message here. Okay, cool. Um, <laughs> I'm all over the place, always, all the time. Okay, um, so you can post your stuff here from all kinds of backgrounds, uh, like stable diffusion and then all kind of mid journey, whatever you want. Uh, and also I post a daily challenge in here uh, that you can take part in if you want. I also share my videos here so you can check that out um, to, well, just to, to connect to other people who create. And then I also have a, a Discord. Let me open that up also real quick so I can show you. Uh, and I will also share the links in a second in the in the chat. One second with that. Mm hmm. Okay. Accept the invite. Okay, so that's the invite link. Please load. Don't load something strange. Ah. Oh, okay. Cool. Um. So this is the group where how many members do we have? There's a lot of people online. 186. That's not too bad. Um, so there is a room here where you can use the mid journey bot right here in the discord if you want to that's useful and then you can also discuss with other people about questions I have one about software discussion and also um, different uh, AI news I post a lot in there like my videos sometimes but also other kind of news in here 
Um, it would be super useful if you could put also stuff in there. That would absolutely help uh, to see what's kind of going on. Because, of course, I'm doing my research, but it's also better to have input from other people what they are seeing um, and also discuss that in the... Maybe I should rename that from mid-journey discussion to AI discussion or something like that. Um, yeah, so... That's that's what's going on. Okay, let me let me put that real quick in the chat, and then also let's read some more comments from the chat room here. I never remember who I said hello to last. What, what, let me post the links real quick. So these are the links to the Facebook group. I would absolutely enjoy if you join there. Oh, sorry, I put both in there at the same time. Maybe I should do this individually. Can I delete this again? No. Okay, now it opened. <laughs> I'm such a mess. It's it's incredible. That's that's what the artist mind is like. Always all over the place. There we go. All right. Boom. Okay, cool. So you can join both if you want to or either of them. Let me say hello to some more people here. Who did I read last? I can't remember. Uh, Dragon Angel, how are you doing? Hi. Oh, I think Katie. I said, I said hello, Katie, uh, last. Uh, Chuovoni. Hi from Seattle, how are you doing? Liz, little Miss Redhead. Oh, that's a nice name. From Virginia, hi. Thanks for joining. Um, man, you have so difficult names to read. Uh, DJ Just In Case. Okay, that's that's kind of easy, but it's kind of long. From Woodstock, really? From Woodstock, New York, is that real? Hi, thanks for joining. Hello from California. That's nice. Um, we need some shine. It's rainy all day in Central Europe. Really? Oh yeah, it was raining today. That's true. Yeah, I'm I'm not outside <laughs> enough, so I often don't realize if it's raining or not. Okay, let me let me fix my screen here a little bit. Okay, who did I say? Um, Adrian, hi. Where are you from? How are you doing? Thomas from Czech Republic. Thanks for joining. Um, Hype that like. Yes, please like the video. That would really help so more people can see it. And I uh, will also try to cut the start of the video so you don't have to listen to the music to th for three minutes. Um, okay. Hi, Martin from Germany. Thanks for joining. Uh, we can... Oh my God, there's more. Also edited AI pics from Affinity Photo. Yes, you can also do that. No problem. Yes. Um, I AI Maniacs from Poland. Hi, how are you doing? Thanks for joining. Uh, Alan Bohm, Brown, Brown, okay, from Scottish Borders. Scottish Borders, is that the name of the region? Interesting, okay, hi. Uh, Sherman, hi. Uh, create, creative Only from Romania, hi. <laughs> Thanks for joining. Dimitri from Netherlands. Uh, Frankie Star from Pakistan, really? Wow, okay, that's way off. Okay, interesting, like far away from my location is what I mean by that. Uh, Celtic from Bulgaria, how are you doing? Thanks for joining. Uh, and oh, okay, okay, he, he said that twice. Okay, let's see if there are some entries already. Ah, all right. Okay, there's some stuff here. Katie is the first one. That's pretty good. Mid journey. Oh, and you put the prompt in here too. How do I actually copy that over? I didn't think about that. Um, let me see. Oh my God! Wow. Okay, that's pretty cool. Let me close the chat here real quick, and then I need to switch over. Um, hi in the dark from Miami. How are you doing, Katie? Um, hit that little. I like it. Yeah, thank you very much. Hit that like, please. Uh, whole world today. <laughs> yeah, all over the place. Okay, let me switch here. Can you see it? Yes, you can see it now. Okay, awesome work. Really cool. Really interesting that you managed to get uh, two characters into the same scene. Not that easy um, in the in the Mid Journey test version. And um, maybe that's not the test version. Mm, let's see. So I forgot to open up Affinity Photo. Let me do this real quick. Okay. Oh, by the way, I should um, silence my phone so nobody disturbs us. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. Three hours. Okay, good. All right, let's open this up here. New, go to presets, my presets. Let's go with 4000. And then we can make a little text box in here like so. And now I can go back here and copy the image. Boop. No, that's wrong. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> already, already messing up here. One second. There we go. This is the picture. And then we go over here. Um, copy command. 
By the way, sorry that I have posted videos lately really late in the day. I was experimenting so much uh, with the Google Collabs that I, I kind of, it came out at midnight or something like that. So really, really late videos. I try to post them earlier um, in the next week. So it's not coming like super late for you. All right, there we go. Okay. Let me close this. Why does it say it's a good time for... Ad oh, it's already 13 minutes. Wow, that's heavy. Okay. Um, so really cool image. It's it's using test. That's amazing because it's really hard to get two characters in the same image. Um, Little Red Riding Hood, a steampunk. Interesting. Okay. A large scary wolf. High definition, brilliant specular highlights. Concept art. Art by Art Germ. Um... By the way, I don't even know what art term is. I read that so often. I've never searched for that. Is that a page or is that a person? Professional. Oh, that's a person. Okay. Better known by his handle art term. Ah, okay. Interesting. So that's an artist. Stanley art Lau. Okay. Interesting. Need to check out his art style. Very nice. Um, and dark art. Oh my god, Akelare, is that another artist I get? I guess, Tech Sharp, Illustration, Octane Render, Unreal Engine 5, 8K, and then 16 by 9. Does 16 by 9 work with, um, I guess not, right? Because I don't think this is 16 by 9, it's 2 by 3, uh, 3 by 2, sorry. Then Test Creative, and then of course, Upbeat. All right, Archim is an artist, okay, that's good to know. <laughs> Thank, thank you, Chad. I, I should just ask you. That's the, that's the faster way. Uh, Adrian worked in Marvel. Oh, really? Okay, he worked for Marvel. It's pretty cool. Katie. By the way, do you think like, um, because I read, um, I read a post about an artist who is not that happy that his name is used. But I think, first of all, the works look nothing like, um, like not nothing, but they look similar, kind of from the style to the artist, but actually different. And the artist is much more sophisticated in the expression. Um, but I think the names of the artists become much more popular. So I kind of think it helps if a couple of million people more know your name who have never heard about you before. Kind of should be like helpful to push up your prices and your popularity. I don't know. Um, like, for example, wasn't it... Who was that? Was that Eminem or was it 50 Cent or some other kind of... Oh, no, it was... Uh, who is the guy? Um, he... He used, uh, back in the day, he used, um, what was it called? Uh, the download platform for music. Um, oh, what was it called? I can't remember. Um, so he used um, this. He gave, uh, he gave his songs the names of other rap songs so people would download it and listen to his music and then know him from that. And this is how he became popular. So I think Soldier Boy did that, right? Wasn't that the story of how Soldier Boy became popular? Uh, that he he used um, what was the download platform? Uh, um, anyways, um, not Webster, the other one, the one with the with the lime as the icon. Uh, okay, very nice, Kathy. Amazing work, really cool. Napster, yes, Napster. I think Napster. I think he did it like that, right? Adrian Dominguez. I don't know who that is. <laughs> Okay, cool. Uh, let's try to go to the next work here. Oh, let me make a check mark also so I've uh, reviewed this. I have to rearrange this a little bit because now I have too many boxes here. One second. Okay, let's make an X here. Make this a little bit smaller. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, let's open up the next one. Let's check this first. Oh, that's a nice one. Okay, look at that. Pretty cool. By Shazy Co. Wow, it's like a print design, really awesome. I like the details. Has a little bit of a kind of a climped wipe with all that stuff in the background, like really hugging the main subject. Really cool. I very much like that. Um, so pretty cool. By the way, um, I, I wanted to ask you also the video I made yesterday. By the way, maybe we should check out some stuff I made lately. <laughs> Sorry, a little little intermission here. <laughs> um, so. Um, I made some videos about two videos about this Google call up here. One is about how to use prompts uh, to turn them into videos. And then the other one is how to use uh, image to image render uh, for creating variations that look similar to the original. Right. 
Um, so you can have just multiple variations of the same image. Let me actually, let me find that real quick one second so I can show you that. Is that kind of stuff um, useful? I mean, of course it's useful, but um, the question is, is it, is like, I, I'm not actually sure what I'm asking right now. <laughs> one second. Um, so this is like, you can see here, um, this is creating a variation which has the same uh, like composition and it has the same color scheme. Most of the stuff is the same. You can already, you can of course also use other prompts. But the idea here is that you use an image as the, you, you use a, a finished AI art render as the base to create variations of that AI art render to have just more variations of the same thing. Uh, so... Uh, there is more things you can do, but they are basically tweaks of the same technique. They are just like creative ways because I'm kind of known, especially in Affinity Photo for my workarounds and finding new ways to use things. Is that interesting to you? Um, even if it's just like a small thing uh, that is actually changed, right? Um, so that that's just the, the question here. <laughs> Because sometimes I feel like the things might be too small to make a video about that, but then they have a big effect or they are exactly the same technique, but I use it differently because I have other uses for that technique too that I didn't include in the video. Like you can, for example, make, um, you can change the age of a person or the expression of a person or stuff like that with the same technique. If I show you how I do that, might be interesting, right? Uh, let me know that. In the in the chat, if that's a good idea or not. Okay, let's go back here to the artwork. Um, there we go. Okay, so let's copy this over too. Boom. Okay, I shouldn't use the text tool. Let's delete this here. Put this in. Pretty nice. Maybe be take. Can we put the prompt somewhere else? Why do I use a square thing here? By the way, that is not a great idea. Let's change the canvas here. Maybe make this two thousand. Wait, is this the width or the height? Oh no, that's okay. That's what I wanted. Okay, cool. So I can put this here and then we put this over here and make the text a little bit smaller because that is crazy big. Let's go here with 110. That's better. That's more useful. And then let's see. Oh, that's the wrong one. Let's close this. Where's the other one? There we go. Let's copy this over. Copy command. Not the prompt, but the command because the command has everything in it. And then we can, oops, no. Yeah, we can go big screen here. Now you can see everything pretty nice. Okay. Kukabura. Is that the name of the bird? Kukabura in Gumtree. Artwork by Yelena James. Intricate details, pens, inks, markers, acrylics, expressing complex abstract seat. Oh, yeah. Okay. It also uses a seat here. That's the seat number. Then you have the ratio here, three by five. Does it work? Is it three by five? Interesting. Um, and then test creative upbeat. Okay, pretty cool. Upbeat is for the like upbeat. Sorry, not upbeat. Upbeat uh, for the for the upscaling. So that's pretty awesome. Yes, type of bird. Okay, pretty cool. I haven't worked with seeds yet. I love the image. By the way, write in the um, write in the in the chat what you think a seed does, because I have I've experimented with it and I've read about it and I still don't get what the seed is actually doing. Like I I know when I in stable diffusion, if I use a fixed seed, I become the exact same result with the same prompt. Um, so it does have an effect, but when I use the seed and a different prompt, I don't get the exact same style, but looking different, I get something completely different. Also in mid journey, like, I'm I'm still kind of very like uncertain what the seed actually is doing, right? That's kind of like, mm, I don't know. So yeah, pretty cool work, by the way. Really awesome, really like that. Very nice, I like the details here, it's so cool. Very, very nice, awesome. Do you feel like we are super close to like a kind of virtual, not, not not like a like a what is it called in Star Trek the warp deck? No, it's called what is it called? <laughs> my brain. What's going on with my brain today? 
the the thingy deck where they make the scenes but we have it 2d right now you can just say hey i want this and it makes that we're kind of close to that right we almost have that it's not 100 percent perfect but it's pretty cool when you think about that you can just like come up with scenes and if this evolves further as we already can make like little videos and stuff like that you can do a lot of cool stuff with that, right? So Mid Journey was already talking about maybe also creating 3D objects from prompts. That's already pretty amazing because then you can create a 3D scene. Um, and also we already have AIs that turn, would you, by the way, this is another thing, should I put that on the channel or not? Because there's so many AI few, uh, uh, news about things that you can't use in Mid Journey or Stable Diffusion, but they're still interesting. And one of them is a technique where you can use a 2D image and you can you can create a 3D space from that. So you can basically walk around in that image, right? So that's also cool. Or you can take multiple images, but not too few, just a handful of images, and it creates a, a complete 3D space for you out of the scene. So you can basically look around the corners uh, as in the, in the classic movies. The holodeck, yes, the holodeck. Thank you very much, Martin. My brain is just like not working today. <laughs> okay, let's go here to the next one. Uh, let me figure that out. Let me make an X here. Wow, so many cool entries again. Really awesome. Oh, uh, by the way, boom, I should... Um, my stream deck is, by the way, not working right now. Mwah, very nice. Really cool. It it says it, the plugin. I should update the plugin. I did that, and it still is like... I don't see the buttons on my, on my stream deck, so it's kind of... Yeah, uh, it, it still works, but wait, what is this? Oh, no! The stream server, the, the mid journey server is down. Oh no, it works again. Okay, cool. Wow, I, I cried too early. <laughs> there we have already the devil here. Amazing. With a cross on the forehead, so that's pretty strange. Interesting. It, it looks like his his horns are kind of have this kind of wooly um cover, you know, where you kind of how how is it called? Like knitting around the stuff, you know? So that's kind of strange. Interesting. Well, pretty cool work. Very expressive. I really like that. Copy image. Let's put this in here. I need my tools again. One second. Let's put this over here. Delete that. Put the new one. And then let's take the... All right. The prompt. Pretty short prompt. Okay. Also, let me know in the chat, are you more fond of long prompts or short prompts? Like, what is your technique that you're using? Like, do you add more and more stuff to get where you want to go? Or do you try to keep it as short as possible? All right. So this is the devil disguises himself as a saint. Oh, okay. Interesting. Very nice topic. Maybe make this a little bit bigger here so you can see that better. And then also public speech. I think that's meant to say speech. Crowd listening to the devil cinematic wide shot AR 16 by 9. So this is using the old um, version of 3 from Mid Journey. Pretty cool. Very nice. Really like the style, the artistic expression. This is what I really like about Mid Journey is this kind of artfulness that you get this kind of organic warmth in a certain sense like it's actually created by an artist it's really nice to have that right so pretty cool although um stable diffusion has a lot of benefits too i want to make a video about that too by the way um this kind of like who is the king or what is the better tool or where's the future going stuff like that right okay um a little controversial <laughs> controversial theme oh there we have a full account wow these are crazy pretty awesome so this is a full instagram account by dragon angel ai six followers only wow that's not too many for that really cool stuff here pretty cool and all are like a white screen or like you know um not square or anything from the format Oh, well, you have a full text here. That's crazy. Is this the full prompt? This is the full prompt? Oh my God, it's a full page of text. Wow. So you're uh, into the long prompts, I guess. <laughs> oh my God. And this is for sure version three uh, of Mid Journey, right? Because it's kind of like these crazy figures that look dreamlike. That's more uh, Mid Journey version three. 
pretty amazing. Wow, I like the rainbow colors in here. Very nice. Wow. Did you also post like this super long um, prompt in here? Oh no, you you posted something shorter. Okay, that's good. That's using. Um, oh, the the next one is done with Google Colab. Okay, looking forward to that. Wow. That is pretty amazing. I don't think I'm going to read that prompt because it's like super long. Uh, but there's a lot of stuff in here. Should we read through that? We can read a little bit of that, right? Or let's let's read it fast. Let's let's search for a nice this one maybe. So this says Da Vinci Anatomy of Star Wars Space Battle Opera overlooking a futuristic forest waterfall hyper realistic 8K iron unreal engine oil paint opera character singing in sacred geometry aquatic dragon angel opera characters kneeling before the ethereal flaming throne of God herself unreal engine hyper realistic 8K ultra woo. Bioluminescent circulatory system, multiple characters with rainbow colored lightsabers defending Jedi Temple with sacred geometry, dragon angel. Is this all one? Why is it repeating? I feel like. Is it repeating? I'm not sure. <laughs> dragon angel, Jedi, pray. What? Praying in front of a dragon angel, Jedi altar, singing dragon angel, circling the light. What? The lightsaber held their chest swamp mountain Jedi temple ruin multiple characters star wars space battle opera overlooking a futuristic forest waterfall hyper realistic 8k unreal engine this is kind of repeating at some points right you have multiple like um elements here that are like also up here i feel like um so yeah okay let's let's not read the rest that's pretty amazing really cool work though really amazing and you're you're using the same is it is it like growing over time or is this always the same prompt you're using? Let's go down here and see. Like is this shorter? Oh, there's no prompt here. Okay. How about this one? There's no prompt here. How about this one? Also no prompt. Okay, interesting. Uh and this one is short. Okay, so maybe this is growing over time. I'm not sure. Oh no, there's a super long prompt. Wow, okay, interesting. So <laughs> that is a lot of stuff, but pretty cool. Very interesting. Very, very nice. Okay, cool. Um, let's check out the next one. This is a stable diffusion Google call-up render. Oh, this on WeTransfer. Ooh. Um, I'm not sure about downloading stuff on my computer. It's a PNG, so maybe that's okay. Mm, let me see here real quick. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can immediately see like the difference uh, from uh, mid journey to stable diffusion. Like stable diffusion can create really cool styles too, but um, I feel like they are more plain a little bit. You know what I mean? Like more, like clearer in a certain sense. I don't know how to pronounce, I don't know how to say that. Um, it's like it's like tea and water. You know, like one is has this kind of organic taste to it and the other one is like clean water which is it's also good it's perfect but it's just like different kind of style you know what i mean different kind of expression by the way i should also look at the chat real quick let me do that um my kind of wrong scroll down very nice scroll down did i miss something this was the full prompt. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> is there a limit to the prompt, or can you just write endless long uh, prompts and it's still gonna work? Um, it does repeat. I do that for more art to be pronounced. Really? But why don't you use weights? Maybe try with weights. So like you go um, comma comma and then the number two or something like that. I still want to make a video about prom uh, about weights. Um, Platform creates an image, uh, inputting those tag. Uh -huh. Realistic images. Yeah, Robomar uses very short prompts and gets really amazing results. The like he gets very good results, but the results are also like very variable. I feel like right. So, but he's more about the expression of the style, less about the content of the image. I feel, and the, I'm I'm and the other way around. I'm more about the content of the image to get something very specific as a subject in the image. So the prompts are really long. That I'm not really long, but r rather long. Um, 
but so there's kind of different approaches in there right so that's really interesting to get these different approaches um how do we submit links there is a there is a there should be like a um yeah, there is a pinned link on the top of the chat that you should be able to use. But I can also post this a second time, one second. And also uh, keep in mind, I'm not going to a be able to review all of the works. Um, maybe let me put the chat over here for a second so I can read that. And then we go back to the image one second. Uh, let me switch here real quick. Yes. Okay, perfect. So let me go through that. Um, Oh, you found the link. Okay, that's good. So let's pin it. Uh, stable diffusion. More clean lines. Yeah, that's also true. More clean lines. But I feel like stable diffusion, at least the Google Collar, because it's still 1.4, has more problems with clean faces, while Midjourney seemed to have figured that out pretty well already, um, especially in the test and test P version for the faces. Um, and yesterday I found out that um, if you upscale an, like just the face, so yesterday I found out that with stable diffusion, the resolution of the image has a lot to do with the quality. So you can get almost photorealistic faces if you make them really big in the resolution and just the face. This is why I cut out the face yesterday in the video and then posted it on the old uh, photo, on the old uh, uh, AI render because, oh, one second, I need to sneeze real quick. Because you just get so much better results if you have just the face and a high resolution and you get like the eyebrows and the eyes are suddenly correct and the mouth and everything is correct in there. So that's pretty interesting that it works like that. All right, let us let me look at the rest of the chat here real, big, uh, real quick. I think you need... Be a bit more, yes, you need to be more specific with SD and name more artists and stuff like that. So it kind of understands the style you want to have. So, uh, no, no problem with the wheat transfer. It's better to link a file directly that can open in the browser. I think it's still downloading, of course, into the browser cage, but I feel like it's less dangerous than downloading a file. And don't send any zip files or stuff like that, of course. Um, Cynical, it will leave you be until you earn 1 million. Ah, yes, yes. You can use the images commercially from Midjourney. I actually don't know about stable diffusion, but I think you can use them commercially because you can install it locally. It's an open source project. I don't think they have any claim to your images, right? Uh, so I think that should also work. But of course, you are still um, like have to take into consideration the copyright, of course, right? If you create some famous stars images, like, I don't know, the, the characters of Game of Thrones or Marvel characters or Super Mario, stuff like that, you are breaking copyright in that moment. So if you publish this online or you sell it or stuff like that, they might come after you. If it's just for fun, I don't think they will. But if you make t-shirts with Super Mario on it, they will come for you maybe, maybe not. It depends on like how big of a thing this is becoming like on Etsy, you get a lot of fan articles that are uh, from different brands and stuff and they don't care about it as long as it's small. Like I think for example, Star Wars, they have the kind of policy that they say we don't care about it as long as it's like a small project and you just make individual fan art stuff. But if you start to sell posters in print on demand, they don't know how many like 500 or a thousand copies you're selling. Yeah, that, that might be a problem in that, right? So be a little bit careful with that. Okay. Um, I just posted uh, Sean a realistic result. Um, uploading a few photos. It took off inline scale to working with photos. If you're, if you're talking about Midjourney using photos, Midjourney uses photos only for inspiration, not as the uh, direct source as stable diffusion does and Mitchell says this is about copyright and they don't want to have you like uh, changing images because on 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 stable diffusion for example you can upload an uh, uh, you can upload a photo of a person and then just tell stable diffusion hey change this to the face of another person and stable diffusion will just change the face and keep the rest of the photo same so you can do some goofy shit with that and Mitchell didn't want to 
like deal with that, right? So they have to keep down the work of moderation, which I feel like they're kind of canceling themselves with this kind of restrictiveness, but it's their business. You know, they need to decide what they want to do. If you want to do like whatever you want, any kind of stuff, stable diffusion is where you can like do anything you want, right? No limits because there's it's it's a it's a Google call up so it's not moderated or it's locally so it's not moderated so you can like just put any prompt in there any kind of stuff so if you are artistically that might be more interesting right um, all right let's go back to the images here <laughs> so <laughs> enough about the chatting more about art all right there we go so this is pretty cool let's check out the uh the prompt because this is also in here one second okay i need to copy this over here one second good and then we need to take the image too Whoop, that's the wrong image oh how do i get the image in here now ah i have to switch over again sorry i have to go to my download folder um and find the image i have like a billion files in my download folder do you ever enter, uh, empty your download folder? Or is it like just you keep it and suddenly it has like 90 gigabyte or stuff <laughs> with all the stuff you downloaded over the months and years? I don't know. Okay, let me delete this. Okay, there we go. There we have the image. Good. Maybe I need to find a better process for that because it's kind of long to copy the text and the image over. Um, also, let me do something about my shiny face. I still look like a bowling ball in here. There we go. Uh. Okay, I hope that's better. So I'm not too shiny now. All right, good. Oh, and a sip of coffee, one second. Hmm. <laughs> What I do is, uh, by the way, about the about the download folder, like I've created a trash folder where I download only the things I don't need anymore. But of course, I'm a messy person. So on occasion, I download into the trash folder stuff that I still need afterwards. And now, of course, I don't know which is which. So it kind of has lost its purpose. And I still have to look through everything. Although I think if I haven't used it for several months, there's probably nothing in there I still need. So... Mm, I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> let's go on here with this. Anime girl with crimson colored hair, clouds in the background, digital character portrait in the style of Ross Draws. Fantasy art. Ross Draws. Okay, interesting. Let me check that out real quick. Who is Ross Draws? Oh. Is that like a YouTube guy or something? Oh. Oh, but that's a very different style. I don't think I don't think um, Stable Diffusion knows who that is. Uh, can we can we look at that stuff here, or is it? Like I saw an animation and it looked like, uh, maybe. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, he does some cool stuff. So his stuff looks more like this. Meh, it's, it's kind of similar, huh? Not too bad. It's kind of similar. Yeah. yeah, maybe, right? I mean, you can see... Uh, by the way, should I make a video about that too? You can <laughs> write it in the chat um, about comparing actual artworks to the output of Midjourney. Because you can see here that when you compare these two, this is, this is pretty good from the output. But of course, when you look at the details, there's a lot of things that don't add up and that are like strange decisions by the AI. And the overall flow and expressiveness of the work is not the same as in the in, in this work, for example. You can see here that every kind of line and highlight and everything has a certain purpose that brings together and flows together into an artistic work so that um, all of the things in there make sense on how they combine with each other, right? And also how they connect, like the little cat here with the fish and stuff like that. All these kind of elements and the little, like, um, uh, what is it? the string here that holds the skirt and all these kind of things, they create an overall expression for the artistic work. While uh, when you have AI work, at least for now, 
these elements are in there in a certain way, but less specific, you know? And when you have them in a direct comparison, you, you can very clearly see that. If you have the image on its own like this, it looks awesome. It looks great. You can put this on a shirt or hang it on your wall, no problem, because on its own it looks great. But if you have a direct comparison, you can see how much of a, like a, how very big the difference is between the expressive and purposeful artistic work and the AI render, right? So there's, there's still a huge difference between these two. And this is also why I found this kind of conversation about, oh, and now our art is out of their job. I don't buy it, you know. If you have a magazine or something and you put AI art on the cover instead of a, of the actual artist you wanted to book, I don't think you get the difference, you know. If your magazine is that kind of low, I don't care about the magazine, you know. That's the, that's the difference. AI art is great. I'm all for AI art, but it's still in a different kind of like level at the moment. But you can still make something amazing about that. This is why I always say every artist is amazed about AI because they're using this as a base and then they start to paint over that to create something like this because this is a great inspiration tool right now, right? And it's used in so many ways in Hollywood, in game design. In, in, like I, I know people from the industry who told me they're using it right now because the process is just much faster and they are under such big pressure. If you know like game development, for example, how much pressure the people are under, they are so happy for these tools because now they can do in a day what they did in a week before that, right? So that's pretty amazing. Um, all right, let's go on here for the next one. Oh my God, I have too many windows open. Let me close some of that stuff here. I can close this one, I can close this one. Not this one, that's important. Um, I can close this one and then I don't know what the other one is. Okay, cool, let's find the next one here. So I've reviewed this. Pretty awesome work, thank you very much for that. Um, Buzzard, Vazard, I don't know how to pronounce that. The next one is again, Mid Journey. Okay, awesome. There we go. What is this? Oh, okay. Very nice. So here we have a very expressive, nice image. Very dark though. I hope you can see what's going on. Let's open this up a little bit more. Pretty cool. Look at that. Wow. Nice lights here in the background. Very nice. I like how this is like, um, you know, um, from both sides, there is a like a element here that brings more focus to the middle. So that's pretty cool. Very interesting. Very nice work. And this is, like I said, this is what I like about Mid Journey is this kind of warmth and artistic expressiveness, right? So that's pretty, pretty cool. Um, and I hope they, at some point, they grow together. Like we, uh, like what I want personally from Mid Journey is that they make an API or some other thing where you can write plugins and extensions for Midjourney to use their render engine, but then do other stuff with that. Because right now it's too limited in what you can do. Like there is no, I don't think there's a Photoshop plugin and you can't do in painting or out painting or the, all these kind of things that you would like to do, right? Uh, so that would be really amazing if they enable that through an API. I think they should make like an app store or an add-on store like you have for the for the Google browser, right? Uh, and they could even make money from that, right? So I think people would even be able to or willing to pay for that um, if they have cool add-ons and say, hey, here's an outpainting uh, add-on that you can use, but it costs like 20 bucks or something. I don't know, you know, something that's really useful um, and, and helps you create faster. I think that would work. And I mean, that's that's a big selling point for also the iPhone and stuff like that, that they have this market, right? Okay. Oh, that's Yennefer. There we go. I thought she looked familiar. Okay. So Yennefer from the Witcher game, black dress, long hair, uh, long black hair, full body portrait, low angle shot. Interesting. I never tried that term. Low angle shot. Finely detailed, Unreal Engine, Octane render, hyper-realistic, character design, high resolution, cinematic lighting, sharpen, digital enhanced. Digital enhanced, I've never used it either. Okay, cool. Um, I should maybe, um, let me <laughs> let me copy some of these terms here that I've never used before. I need to try that. Let me make a new note here. Digital enhanced. What does that do? What is the effect of that? Uh, tone mapping, CGI, art by Anne McCarthy. There's so many artist names in here. I feel like people 
rather learn about art through mid journey and stable diffusion rather than losing the respect for art like everybody is becoming an artist right now and at the same time they learn so much about the artists around there because even I, I have done art all of my life. I've never heard these names because there is a billion different digital artists out there, right? And they do different stuff you might personally not be invested in, but now you learn about these names. I really find that really interesting and educational, right? Um, so here's the ratio, of course, again, then it's using test and creative for the uh, model, the render model. Up beta is just for the upscaling. And this up beta, up beta is just because uh, Midjourney is adding this uh, at some at certain points um, automatically. So this is not from the author. Okay, pretty amazing. Really, really cool. This was by Hyun Lee. Thank you very much for that. Really awesome work. Was it? Yes, it was. Okay, pretty cool. Let's go here for the next one. This is an Imigur link. Oh, is this? Ah, okay, good. Oh, it's multiple images. Oh, wow. Okay, there we go. There we go. Let's put this here. So we have some Star Wars characters here. Can you see what I'm doing? Yes, you can. Okay, cool. Um, by the way, let me let me check out the chat real quick again. <laughs> Always forgetting about that. Um, you RuneScape image prompts. Okay. A great inspiration too. I am a digital artist, and at first I was really frightened, but then became one of the AI and start one with the AI and start painting over. Yes, absolutely. Like it, it really makes it so fast. And you know what? As an artist, I think you have the same experience that when you create something and you work on artistic concepts, your mind, like for me, it is like I have a creative battery, and when it's depleted, there is no more creativity. I cannot output other great ideas at that point. So uh, when it's fully charged, you can just output like boom, 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 a lot of ideas, and then it's depleted, and you have to wait for it to recharge again um, to, to get new interesting ideas. But with the AI, you can just click on re-render, re-roll the prompt, re-roll again, make a variation, uh, or do some other stuff with that, uh, with the different, uh, like the tricks I showed you yesterday, uh, and just get idea over idea and variation over variation. And then from all of these images, you just select a couple of them that are really good. And then you create more with that, right? So um, it kind of, it, it gives you back inspiration. For me, my expression, how I phrase it is that you have a canvas that is talking back to you. It's giving you, uh, giving you feedback, it's giving you answers, it's giving you insights into different kind of styles, stuff like that, right? So I find that really, really interesting because until now, as an artist, you always were faced with a with a blank canvas and you have to try to, to put something in there um, and then also you're limited by your style and your background and your knowledge. And now it's opening up for you. Everything is suddenly there and you can try different things and then remix them into your own stuff, right? So that's really, really interesting. Um, uh, what's the next one? Linny says, so far I've stuck uh, to short prompts. The one I've submitted is three words. Oh, okay. Interesting. Really go over 10 words, including suffixes. So not experienced uh, much with that yet. Oh, okay, interesting. I find myself researching artists now. Yes, me too. I look at a lot more artists now and what they do. Because before, uh, personally, my method before was to go to Pinterest and just enter whatever I want and then look at the results. Because it, like, if you don't know that, Pinterest is an amazing source. Um, I think much, much more people should use that. Um, so you have this here and of course right now it's also get it with, uh, kind of flooded with AI art. So it's getting a little bit more complex to find things. Um, but you can enter anything in here you want, or you can click on something like this, for example, again, already AI art, I guess. And then it shows you similar stuff in here and you can add this to a board. You see how, uh, how much of that stuff is AI art. I love AI art, but don't post everything you have on every page out there because now it's really hard to find other stuff uh, than than AI art. And at, at a certain point, it starts to look very similar, you know. Uh, so mm, for for finding inspiration, it's it be it becomes much more important now to you to actually know the names of good artists and and know the names of good sources. Um, because there's just like a flood of, of stuff that is created that is awesome, but it, it, it's not exactly what you're looking for, right? 
Um, so yeah, but uh, still pretty awesome, right? There's a really, really big amount here of stuff uh, they can look at. And like I said, when you click on something, you get, uh, not always, but you get a lot of variety. Oh my God, <laughs> it's all just AI stuff now. Okay, maybe, um, yeah. <laughs> Maybe I need to find another source. Okay, or maybe you look for photos. That might be good. Surreal art, what is this? Let's look. Oh, these are my boards. Are they my boards? No, they're not my boards. Okay, cool. No, they are my boards. Are they? I can't remember. Uh huh? How did I get to that? Oh, am I stupid right now? What's going on? Notifications, messages, profile. Hmm. Huh. Wait a second, saved. There we have my boards. So uh, one second, for example, um, like this one here. It's about uh, portrait ideas. So you can see like these different kinds of portraits here with this kind of style that I like. I want to still do more with that. I didn't have time for that. But now the cool thing is you can create these things with AI because before I was researching how to build that uh, like in real life, which of course is expensive and you have to have the skill for that. And I can just do it with AI. So that's pretty awesome to do that. And yeah, look at that. Like the face expression. This is like really amazing. Look at this. Wow. <laughs> The eyes and the way this is edited and the way the colors are, this is so intense. You you so much like get drawn into the image. At the same time, it's kind of eerie and really strange. Mm, really like that. Yeah. And the cool thing, of course, now is you can use these images to create variations from that to get inspired uh, to, to create something different from that, right? So, yeah. Okay, let's go back to this one here. Sorry for that. <laughs> Little excursion again. And look at the prompt that was used. Ah. Oh, you deleted the cookie. So I, I thought I thought it says something about deleted scene or something. Be, uh, I've never seen that prompt, but might be interesting. Deleted scene. Okay, interesting. So we don't have a prompt for those, but it looked pretty good. Are they AI renders? Is this AI or is it not AI? Oh yes, it is AI. You see, like here, that's thing here it doesn't make sense where the lightsaber goes. So that's for sure AI. And there's another lightsaber here coming out of his shoulder. So yeah, but the details are pretty amazing. Wow. And also the highlights here is a classic like Star Wars movie poster kind of style with these outlines here. Pretty, pretty cool. Okay, let's go to the next one. Uh, this is Mid Journey again. Let me check what that is. Oh my God, this is like a photo. Wow, that's impressive. Okay, pretty cool. Wow, let me look at the chat real quick again also. Really puts it in perspective that AI can't substitute talent and hard work. Uh, that's that's kind of true, yes. So, but it can, of course, help a lot, right? So that's the that's the positive thing about that. I think like the people who are worried right now, they have all the experience and knowledge. I mean, two things. I think a lot of the people who are worried right now and say, oh, this is not art, it's really bad, it will kill art, blah, 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 blah. These are people who have no background in art and no background in technical knowledge on how that works. All this kind of, oh, they are composing it out of other images. It's not how that works, right? Um, and then the, the, the actual artists who have the background and the experience and the connections and know how to create subjects and ideas and topics that really click with the audience, they are still on top because they can use that and now use it for that advantage to create even faster and better content. How would they be on a downside unless they completely refuse to use AI and then just get lost in like the flood of new cool stuff that is coming, which always happens. Like you always have like artists who are really, really great and then suddenly they are forgotten because the new stuff comes around. Like remember uh, when they said, okay, now we have digital cameras for, for movies. And all the, the old directors are, no, we will forever stay with analog film because it's the only medium. It's, it's the warmth and the expression and blah, blah. You can see it in the image. And now they're all using a digital art, right? Because they know they can't do the digital, the classic like hand-built effects and stuff like that. It doesn't work like that, right? And it's, it's the same thing with all other art forms. Either you reinvent yourself or you just get swept away by the new technology. It's like, eh, it's like how it works, right? That, that's a part of innovation. Okay, 
And I'm all for it because as an artist, of course, I'm for new stuff. If I would be for old stuff, I would work in a museum and not be an artist. You you are a librarian at that point, right? At best. So yeah, art is about inventing, right? Art is about innovation. So I'm I'm all for that. There we go. And of course, maybe it cancel me me at some day. You know, that's also possible where I can't follow it anymore. But I'm learning every day, so I kind of feel like that chance is rather small. I I rather get Alzheimer and not be able to learn anymore than just being stuck up and and say no, I don't want to learn anymore. Why wouldn't I want to learn anymore, right? I I can't imagine um, a day where I say no, I'm I'm done learning. That's the old school way. You come out of the university, you're done learning, you do your job, and nah, that that's not how it works anymore. Okay, anyways, <laughs> enough ranting here. <laughs> okay, uh, amazing work here. Let's check this out. Okay, um, pretty good. It really looks like a photo. It's so amazing. Look at the details in the eyes. Wow, that's crazy. Photo of a worn and war savvy female Samoarian warrior. Um, dark face painting, kind of. Okay, glowing and very attentive eyes. Yeah, pretty much. Her Samoarian. Do I pronounce it right? Samoare no samurai sword did you write did you want to write samurai or no you didn't want to right they are from the like the warriors from samoa i guess this is what this is about did they have swords i don't know did they have swords next go her Maybe this is supposed to be to her. She's pondering the past <laughs> of Japan. Oh, so she is a samurai. And her own ornate future. Interesting. Okay. What is an ornate future? 8K in HDR, intricate details, ultra realistic photo quality shot with a Canon EOS Mark II and then AR 4x3 test P. Oh, test P. This is why this is so uh, photorealistic. Um, was a typo, but I let me let me check this word here real quick. No, you. Huh? That's an actual word. Oh, this is another word. How to write samurai? I had no idea. Interesting. Because I only know the other, like, uh, uh? look at that. This is a this is a way to write that. I only know this kind of way to write it. Uh, uh, the other one with the with the che at the end. Um, and I've never seen that. Because I thought this is about like some more. I think it's about these guys. This is what I thought. And I think, uh, like, Michoni thought that too. It's about the Samoans, right? So this, I guess this is why it looks not like a samurai, more like a Samoan warrior, right? Okay, interesting. Well, there you go. <laughs> All right, let's go to the next one. Pretty cool. Wow, we have so many entries. There is no chance I can go through all of those. So let me go and see what the next one is. Ooh. Uh... Mm, yeah, well, let's try this. We have a half-naked guy here with some butterflies around him. Looks pretty cool. Hot male warrior in revealing yellow clothing for a swarm of butterflies behind him. Oh, this is the weight. I think for the weight you need um, two commas here. Or two... I, I never can remember... Two colons, two colons or um, two commas, and then stick the number right next to it, no space in between, and I think that should work. It is still, it looks pretty cool, right? Yeah, amazing, really cool work. Okay, <laughs> I don't know what else to say about this work. Pretty cool. Also, I'm not, I don't want to get cancelled with my stream, so maybe don't have this too long on the screen. There we go. Let's go to the next one. What is time? Okay, so this is a very short one. This is kind of this creative brainstormy 
uh, usage of Midjourney to just enter and see what is Midjourney coming up with. So that's a really cool technique um, to just get creative feedback from that. Pretty cool with the old guy coming out of the smoke. Uh, yeah, so he's a little bit like, he looks like Sigmund Freud, right? Becoming uh, the pipe, <laughs> the cigar. Did he smoke a cigar or a pipe? I'm not quite sure. I can't remember. I think he smoked a pipe, right? Hmm. Was the big thing back in the day, smoking pipes. Okay, wow. <laughs> really cool. I really like the work. Let's make this a little bit bigger so you can check that out. I really like the detail too. Um, and I guess this is, um, let's see, Boop. I will post the, I will post this up here. Oh yeah. This is test creative from the, from the prompt. Okay. Awesome. Really, really nice. Very cool work. I like that. Very cool. So let's give this an X two, and then let's check out the next work so we can look at more people. Wow. This is scary and very dark. I'm not actually sure you can see this. Let me copy this over. So we have here like a skull, um, kind of dead creature, I guess, with some twigs here or like withered clothing. It looks really awesome, but it's very dark. I'm not sure if you can see any of these details. Um, also, let me check out the chat real quick. Um, to challenge AI to make something crazy with short prompts. Yeah, that's a great idea. I like that too, just to see what comes out. It's like dreaming when you're awake, right? I really like that, especially with the version of 3 engine where you get like the craziest uh, results. But also, of course, you can see here with the with the uh, test uh, and also the creative edit at the end of the prompt, you get some really cool stuff in here. Uh, by the way, maybe if I copy this over here and I make it a little bit brighter, you can see a little bit more of that. Let me go in here for the brightness and adjust this a bit. Um, there you go. So now you can see the details that they have here in the front. Actually, let me make it like this. Let's in invert that and then paint on this with white. Let me see like this. So now you can see the background and the foreground and this is a little bit improved. So in the stream sorry for like altering your artwork but um so now you can see it a little bit better in the stream right really cool really like that i like this withered stuff it's kind of strange that how why is that that things that are really creepy in the real world are so like aesthetically pleasing or interesting in 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 the movie or in the art world right like horror games and horror movies and all this kind of like gory stuff, Resident Evil, all that kind of things. It looks so cool in the game. If you would see it in real life, you would like get shell shocked. But in in this art form, it just like it just looks cool, right? It's really it's really strange how that works, how the brain works for that, right? And also how different it is, like the real world and the the fantasy world, right? Um, Um, you can, if you want to use it free, you can use stable diffusion, right? Um, and then you can make as many renders as you, as you want. I actually have a video about that. Let me find this real quick. Um, I wish there was an easier way to link my videos in the chat. Um, one second. Where did I put that? Man, I made so many videos. There it is. Um, Sorry for the sound. Um, so I made a video about uh, installing, st not uh, installing, but using Google Colab. In your browser, this is the video, so you can use it for free and you can render as much as you want. You can you can set it up to a um, hundred variations and it will just create a hundred variations for you. You can go for a walk, come back, have a hundred images, really cool. And the one I showed you yesterday, which is a different one, I should maybe link that too. Uh, there you can render through uh, like different prompts. So you can write a hundred prompts and then it will create um, just the the, uh, the versions of that. Uh, I will link that too. Sorry, that's the sound of my computer. So this is the SDD forum setup. 
There you can also make videos and animations and you can use images as input. So that's also pretty cool. Um, uh, I don't know what this is. Wasn't mine. I found that uh, create amazing metaphorical images with simple prompting. Oh, that wasn't from you. Okay, that's interesting. All right. Um, let's go to the next one, maybe. Oh, we haven't we haven't looked at the at the at the at the prompt from this one, right? Is there a, was there a prompt? Yeah, there was a prompt here. So what does this say? This is the scariest ghost selfie dark noir chaotic background 8K Unreal Engine. So this is a selfie. I guess this is why the hands are going like this a little bit, like the arms are going like this towards the camera. Pretty cool. <laughs> really nice idea for the ghost selfie. Okay, let's go to the next one here. Boom. Um, there we go. And by the way, I will link all of the images I've reviewed afterwards in the video uh, below, the like in the video information, so you can check it out for yourself if you want to. Uh, this is another one by Hyun Lee. So actually just one per person. Mm, so let's go to the next one because we have so many images here. Oh, there we go. Sorry, Hyun Lee, um, for that. Uh, this is... Oh, this is the, okay. Um, yeah, wow, really cool work. Really like that. Uh, nice kind of uh, like, what do you say, meditating character here in this dreamy kind of landscape. I'm a huge fan of pink and violet. Actually, pink is my favorite color. So yeah, <laughs> I absolutely like that kind of image here. And the scene is also amazing with the landscape and a little like floating trees in the background, a bit of kind of alien landscape here. So that's also very awesome. Do we have the, we have the prompt here? Let me copy this over in here. Need to close this real quick, one second. So this is the prompt that is being used and then also copy over the image. Let's go here, put this in here. Mm -hmm. One second, whoops, there we go. Let's delete this. Okay. The feeling of when peace of mind is achieved, detailed, psychedelic, colorful, Unreal Engine Octane Render, Blender Effect AR916 Test, Creative Up Beta. Wow, pretty cool. So very short, um, very short prompt um, and very interesting result. I like this kind of combination you see in here where you have this kind of, um, it goes from, from a pink to a violet. And then also you have up here like a tealish uh, blue and it goes to this kind of orange. So you have very, like the two most famous uh, color combinations, pink and violet and then teal and orange, right? Pretty cool. Both of them in one picture and combined in a really nice way, right? I never ever even thought about combining both of those in one image, but it works really well. And I like how when the orange meets the pink, it turns into a warm orange at these borders here. But at the same time, uh, your your brain is tricked into still seeing this as a as a like uh, as a pink color that is a little bit more matte, right? So that's really interesting, really cool, very nice. Wow. Okay, cool work. Thank you very much for that. Really enjoy that. Let's go here for the next one. Oh, this is, oh, that's another disc. Oh, that's the same one, sorry. Uh, let me show this next one here. Is this? No, that's okay. Oh yeah, wow, I like these too. I, I want to do more of those. Uh, there's so many things I want to do in, uh, in, in, in all these kind of AIs. This kind of map style is really cool. What is this, by the way? Technical drawing, assembly instruction, alien creature. Wow, pretty cool. By the way, I would like, I would be really interested if uh, people who have a technical background and know how stuff like that, like not stuff like that is built because that's, uh, I think, still uh, above our technical level, but um, maybe simpler things and have the AI design different kind of circuits or robots or stuff like that and see if the AI would come up with interesting solutions for that. That the it, from, a, from a mechanical standpoint, you wouldn't have thought about that. Maybe this is the wrong AI to do that with because this is more about the artistic output. So for artists, I know uh, from, from 
speaking with other artists also from personal experience that this is such, like if you see art uh, as a puzzle to find an artistic solution this is finding solutions you wouldn't have thought about as an artist so this already is creating new knowledge in that way um but technically i would be really interested uh, maybe with a different ai if ai comes up with solutions on how to build things that you wouldn't technically come up with yourself i know this is done in architecture for example or for the creation of um the uh, for example the hull of a of an airplane or stuff like that because the ai can just figure out where the the like the the points of stability is and where you use less material and with the aerodynamic and stuff like that so that makes sense but what i mean like is for a machine where you say hey i want to have this kind of application for the machine and the ai figures out for you how to build that machine that would be interesting i don't know if it does i haven't researched that kind of thing because i'm more into the like um image uh, visual results of that right image processing of ai and there's a ton of stuff that it's doing, right? So this is pretty cool. Very short, um, very short prompt here. Let's check this out up here. Oh, sorry, I didn't want to do that. Um, there is no. Oh, this is why it's square. So there is no addition to that. So this is using using version three of Midjourney. Uh, let's open this up as a bigger image. Really cool. Also with the texture and stuff. This is so amazing. Wow. <laughs> Oh, by the way, hey, YouTube says hey, it's time for an ad. Let's click on this real quick. And again, I don't I don't know if the ad is playing, what are you seeing when the ad is ending? YouTube, you need to fix that. I have no idea what's going on right now. There might be a video playing. You might see me at the same time. I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's just a text ad. I have no idea. YouTube doesn't tell me anything about that. Okay, anyways, I, I hope the ad is over. Uh, let's go to one more or maybe two more because we're already over an hour and I want to keep this rather short. There we go. Next one by Vladimir. What is this? Oh, this is the full. Oh. Is there some nudity in here? No. Almost, but not really. Okay, that's cool. Good. So let's look at this. It's on mid-journey, so it's <laughs> it's it's more um uh, uh, yeah, more regulated than the Vatican, so there shouldn't be any nudity on there. Mm. Ah, okay, cool. So we have a lot of portraits. Holy shit. How did you create that? Because I tried that multiple times to fill the rest of the portrait with hair, and I could not make it happen. Um... Atlantean sea woman, beautiful blue and green hair, intricate gold jewelry, long flowing hair, magical high lie, highly detailed, elegant, ethereal, unreal, oh, uh, ultra realistic, sharp focus, detailed and symmetric eyes, smooth, realistic skin, detailed face and body. Interesting. By the way, I'm pretty sure when we open this up and make it bigger, the hair is sharp, the face is not. So you can see here, nice detail in the hair, nice and sharp. It's not exactly like flowing hair softly. Um, and then the face, yeah, no no texture in the face. You see the face for some reason is very like, um, very soft and painted, looks like airbrushed. And then the earrings are uh, sharp again and the lips are sharp again. I feel like in mid journey, when you want to have a sharp face, it has to be like, either old skin or painted skin or the the you have to have like dramatic light or something like that so it it can create this kind of little shadows on the on the tiny wrinkles and the surface of the face to create that and otherwise it creates this very airbrushed soft face for some reason i tried so many things to to solve that uh but it it wouldn't work it's 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 always kind of um blurry um in the in the face area so that's kind of it's kind of strange um but really cool very nice work really cool yeah wow so there's a lot of portraits you see here you have more dramatic light and then when we open this up ah we have some texture here in the skin you see dramatic light coming from the side and and like throwing these kind of shadows and here again if you don't have that you have this soft kind of skin there's a little bit of texture here tiny bit okay pretty cool very very nice some are very like almost photorealistic i'm impressed how you have this filled with in this case fur 
pretty cool. This is also very photorealistic. Oh, there you can also see there's texture here in the skin. So that's pretty cool. But it, you can see again, it's kind of this dramatic light that's coming from the side, not from the front, right? So that's really interesting. Wow, so you're very much into portraits of all kinds of styles. Wow, interesting here with this kind of sculpture style, really cool. So 3D render sculpture done in the style of Charles Angus. I don't know that artist either. Wow, look at that, pretty cool. Okay, um, sorry, so that was the full profile here, Vladimir. I think you have been in my last stream too. I can remember that name. Oh, Robomar, there we go. We absolutely have to check him out. Um, there we go. Wow, pretty cool. He is, uh, he's also, you need to check him out on Instagram, by the way. Let's do this real quick. So here we have, there he is. Um, Robomar.ai.art, or I think his actual, no, it's uh, it's in the dots. Okay, that's good. Uh, he also promoted my, uh, my stream. Thank you very much for that. And he posts every day these different kind of uh, prompt ideas that you can check out and try for yourself. So that is very, very useful. He's very dedicated for that. And he's already at like 2,100 followers. So if you can add a, a couple of hundred to that tonight, that would be amazing. <laughs> Share that also with your friends, really cool. Um, and today he has this uh, rendering here. Let's make this a little bit bigger. Okay, awesome, really cool. Wow, look at the details here. Very nice. So he's really good at getting these amazing results for his renders. Um, so his prompt is Advanced Color Holographic Exodus hum Humanoid Clear Reflections Natural Lighting Realistic 8K Beautiful Detailed Light Diffusion Cinematic Shading and Elements. Wow, pretty cool. So he is, he is good at these rather short, this is actually for Robomar, this is a rather long uh, prompt, I feel like, but he is really good with, with knowing the right words in the prompts to get good results um, that have like a, a precision in the output, you know, that feel like more like purposeful in the, in the work themselves. So that's pretty interesting. Really, really nice. Okay, awesome. Ah, uh, right. Um, should we check out one more? Let me see what the next one is. Oh, the next one is again from Imi Imigur. Do we already check that because the other person also had that? Mm. No, this is a different person. What is this this time? Ooh, okay, let's look at this real quick. This is the last one for today. Sorry about that. Wow, look at that. Pretty like almost correct from the perspective. A little bit off, but pretty good. Wow, pretty amazing. Uh, the prompt, let me check the prompt here real quick and also make a mark here. So I have checked this. The prompt for this, let me put this up here, is ancient Greek temple of Artemis made of Carrara marble by Studio Ghibli. Mm, not not exactly, it didn't work. Oh, oh, there's different names here. Tim Hildebrandt also, Octane Trending on Art Station. Interesting. Wow, really good result. Really cool. Likes, it uh, looks a little bit like these old school sketches or like paintings, matte paintings you see often in this American style museum matte painting you see in the background of exhibitions, stuff like that. It looks a little bit like that. Oh, cool. What was that? Oh, hey, Eric, thanks for becoming a member on my channel. Thank you very much for the support. That's really awesome. Um, yeah, cool. All right, let me switch over to the big view. Boom, there we go. Oh, there's my, there's my unicorn here. Look at that. Woo. All right. <laughs> okay, so let me check out the chat here real quick so I can read some more of those. And of course, there's some more. There's a lot more videos coming uh, soon. No more? What is no more? I don't know. It's a prompt booster just as intricate filigree, etc. Uh, what do you mean by that? Maybe I should read them from the top. Only sees oh the, the 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 advertisement was only three seconds. Is it like a text or do you see like a full screen advertisement, like a video playing or stuff like that? Because YouTube isn't telling me anything what's going on. I wish I would see a preview, like a little preview, any kind of thing, but I don't. Um, you didn't see an ad? Yes, it's just going to some people for some reason. Um, I'm not familiar with that. Uh, how does it work? Uh, I tried using style of check Kirby. 
at mid journey and they gave me similar to his face not the style oh interesting yeah sometimes um you have to phrase it uh, like for example try to write by check kirby and sometimes also uh, mid journey doesn't really understand the style doesn't know the style stuff like that um yeah so so that's interesting i was thinking about making a video about different artists but then i thought no nah, i don't want to get the copyright problems or whatever <laughs> i don't know about that uh but different kind of styles so i want to work uh, with robomar on a video about different kind of prompts and styles uh that are useful um uh to to show you different kind of things you can do with mid journey and then also i want to do that for stable diffusion to give you also good idea of prompts and also resources where you can find good prompts for inspiration stuff like that all right there we go i hope that was amazing for you it was really amazing for me thank you for being part of my live stream that would be it is always amazing uh, yeah, and then next week, I promise we are going to do a photo bashing in Affinity Photo in the live stream to show you how I use these tools uh, to to like combine things and change the, the AI output into my own works, right? Okay, that was amazing. Thank you very much and have a good night. Bye. We'll